Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas day two. Luca and I just pulled into the gym. So we're gonna go in, he's gonna play, I'm gonna get a workout in. I think I'm gonna do cardio and abs today. Just keep it simple, get the blood flowing, um, get the energy moving. Did a lot of decorating last night, which I'm gonna insert all the clips from that, but I didn't really do like an intro last night. I just was trying to get stuff done and yeah. So anyway, enjoy that footage and we are gonna go in and work out and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. Picked up a couple things. I got this bow, which I've kind of been on the fence about with the black and the white. I'm gonna hang it though right like on top of our curtains i got these for a diy these to make like a centerpiece with these pine cones some little wreaths to hang on the garland snow a glass base to put the snow in with a little snowman and a christmas tree and this little plate which i just thought was so cute i'm gonna put the pine cones in this First, I have to throw out the Thanksgiving flowers. The hydrangeas look okay, but the tulips have definitely lost a little bit of their life. And then we have another banner for the cocoa bar and just like random stuff all over the place. I also have our Christmas tree and some Christmas lights, just like random stuff. So we still need to put up the Christmas tree tonight. Looks really cute. It actually smells like vanilla. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells good. It's like lavender with vanilla. Oh, wow. Selena just had an idea to hang this ornament off the chandelier on the top okay. of this curtain rod. Okay. First, I'm going to fluff it a little bit. Okay, we got the dining room table cleaned off. Probably gonna put a table runner in the middle, but it looks really cute. And there's the bow on top of the curtain rod. I think it kind of ties in with the green and the black bowl in the center. Okay, so Selena's going through the ornaments right now. She's finding some old gems. And I was sorting through the lights and it looks like we have four strands of multicolored lights and then three strands of just gold colored lights. We also have this pile of red lights, which I believe are outdoor lights, but I'm honestly not sure if they work. And then we have just one strand and this is like a cool white light. So I don't really know what we're going to use that for. I think though, I really want the tree in the family room to have these multicolored lights. So this is our Christmas tree that we've had for years. And it's been sitting in our garage and I'm so afraid to open it because I'm afraid there might be a spider. So wish me luck. Okay, so we just got back from Sprouts. Lupa's over there playing, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys what we picked up. 
I went in for creamer and I found this, which isn't necessarily a creamer, but I really like the Elmhurst um, almonds, almonds, almond milk. Um, so this looked really holiday and enticing for coffee. And then I found this, and this was in the non-refrigerated section. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna love it, but I do think pecan caramel sounds like a bomb flavor. Some other drinks. I got one of these for my husband. He was a big fan of this, so I always like to pick them one up when I go to Sprouts. And then I wanted to get some kombucha, and the health aid was actually BOGO. Sprouts surprisingly had a lot of BOGOs going on, but I got the holiday cheers flavor. So that'll be yummy to sip on this evening. They also had a BOGO going on on the Rao sauce, so I got a tomato basil and a arabiata which is a spicy marinara. Never have tried the spicy marinara, but I think we'll really like it, at least my husband and I. Another super fun BOGO, I got the Kettle in Fire bone broth soups, broccoli cheddar. They also had mushroom. Another super fun BOGO, I got the Kettle in Fire broccoli cheddar soups. These are normally a pretty penny, so to find them on BOGO is really awesome. The only other the, blah, 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 blah. the only other variety they had was mushroom bisque, and I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I think broccoli cheddar is going to be a little bit tastier. Then we have some uh, items for dinner, organic refried beans, and um, spicy taco mix by Siete. I also just got a couple random things. The kids really like these no sugar pork sausages, so figured I would give them those to switch it up for breakfast time. And then for me, I've been absolutely obsessed with chicken pot stickers. And then I could not make it out without getting some sweet treats. Luca, no, 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 buddy. What are you doing over there? Oh, really? But I saw these when we were in there um, a couple weeks ago and I decided to wait until the time was right. So we're gonna make these keto cookies later. Oh, he's so bloody. And then we are gonna snack on these today. I'm thinking that the flavor is like a cinnamon, pumpkin type of thing because there is agave, coconut sugar, cinnamon and pumpkin powder. So probably like a festy. Festy, <laughs> festive holiday type of snack. Ola. Yum. I think we're actually going to do a taste test of these right now. I know I've had like their churro chips before and they were, they're not my favorite. We'll just say that. Mmm. Definitely have a holiday flavor going on. Almost like pumpkin pie like. But like if you can imagine as a chip. But a really light chip. Like a light, crunchy, flaky. I feel like this would be good like crunched up. Or mixed in with ice cream. Honestly. But yeah, these are pretty yummy. Okay, so now the game plan is to finish decorating the Christmas tree. And then Luca and I are going to have lunch. And I'm going to show you guys how I make the pot stickers. Super simple. But I kind of like to like doctor them up a little bit to add some more flavors. So let's finish decorating the Christmas tree. These are probably my favorite ornaments. I thrifted them a few years back and I'm saving them for last. Definitely running out of room, but I don't want to put it too low because, yes, a dog's in a little one. 
put it over here like on the side. Look at this, you guys. I made this when I was a child. How freaking cute is that? Okay, last one. Where are we gonna put it? I wonder if I could like sneak it in back here. Like flip it back. That way Luca can't pull it off. All right, and she is complete. Now the only thing missing on it is the tree skirt. I'm gonna try to figure out with some fabric that I already have, maybe like some green velvet or um, I have like some furry, fuzzy type of fabric, but we're gonna figure something out and do a DIY for that. I have these few ornaments left, but I'm gonna put them on the other tree. I got this tree at Hobby Lobby. It's like a um, Alpine style. I really, really loved it. And I kind of kept it with like the neutral colors the whites, the creams, the woods, the boho. That's Binky, our elf. He's in the tree today. Um, so yeah, I really feel like those ornaments will fit in better with this. And I just put our old star on top. And this star is from Target. I just thought the knit was so cute. And it goes perfectly with like this colorful knit felt, just like, super eclectic theme on this tree, which is basically just a hodgepodge of festivities, but I really love it. it makes me so happy. All right, now that the trees are done, the lights are sorted, um, most every decoration is hung, I need to do some cleaning up. went down for a nap so we're going to make some pot stickers for the oil we're going to use avocado and then water and then you just cook them up and put the lid on it okay so I'm gonna pan fry them so I have the avocado oil and once it gets hot I'm gonna add the pot stickers and then splash the water and then this says to cook it for 8 to 12 minutes so we'll do that normally I only do it for like five but and follow this. Then you have to put them flat side down, that way they can get crispy. No, you can't have that though. So I'm gonna let them sizzle for just a minute and add the water and put the lid on. Also came with this dipping sauce, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make my own sauce. How freaking delicious do these look? Now we're just gonna get some soy sauce. And some sriracha. Have to be careful with this one because it comes out so fast. Just sprinkle a nice amount on top and then drizzle with this watery sriracha. Ah, that one's gonna be spicy. 
So I'm gonna sit down and eat these and work on editing for the next hour and 15 minutes, cause that's when I have to leave. And Luke is napping, so now is the perfect time. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this Vlogmas right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day three. Bye.